Can you see me? No? Good. You shouldn't see me. It is quarter past five. I have been awake since 2.30. It has been very exciting. At 2.30 I gave in and got up for a pee. The one that comes in the night that I have accepted. Unable to write down all my dreams because I was feeling lazy. I did write down a couple I could remember. I am watching a dark face through the window, which I think could be a bird. I don't mind not sleeping. It shows me that there is something I am not addressing or something is bothering me. It feels since the new water device arrived that either I didn't drink enough water or there is some detoxification going on from the kidneys, from the water, because it started feeling like a slight feeling of water infection, but not for the sake of infection. It feels more like I need to address my fears and I need to address drinking more water. But it is not the reason for this video. I am adding this to show there is something going on to do with fear of emotion. Fear in some way. Maybe of letting go. It is interesting to do a dark video. <sighs> it's nice. I cannot be narcissistic. I cannot look my best. I cannot look my worst. There is nothing to see. Except for me to watch this bird. This jackdo standing on the ledge. I am grateful for it to be here. Thank you, bird. Let's go back to this feeling of not sleeping. A mild worry of my uterus hasn't shrunk yet, and that is okay. Even if it creates and confirms the feeling that it will never return back to its size till something drastic happens within me to allow it to shift. I am going to be disturbed by cars passing by, the sound feeling the silence and it's okay too. What do I want to express at this time? I would like to express the introversion lately which has happened. A lack of desire to do videos. And it is normal with me, I go through phases. 
of wanting to say nothing. I have given myself a lot to do. And by doing so much, it has also a lot given me so much time. And I could give myself the time. But do I want to? Do I want to follow my passions? Or do I want to carry on suffering? I say to carry on suffering, yet in the last few weeks I have suffered the least I can remember in all of my life for a long period of time. And yesterday a friend said to me, I want you to stop suffering, I want you to be happy. And I said to him, you can want this all you want, but you will not change what I truly want. And maybe wanting unhappiness, being aware of the pattern which is a choice, which has become a choice, is what I need to go through at this moment. Please do not impose your will on me on what you believe is better for me. I am the one who chooses to suffer. Please leave me to it till I decide I have had enough. Thank you for respecting my boundaries. Thank you for talking about love towards yourself and not towards me as I am only a reflection of you and love starts within yourself towards yourself. Thank you for allowing me to feel peace regarding your interaction with me. For you are of the opposite sex and there is always a malignant interest in the opposite sex which I do not want in my life and again it is my choice I know that if I was healthy this wish would be there towards the person that would be right in that matter but the wish is not there at this moment and that I have to accept it too. Let's go back to the suffering which I have already spoken about in a video. I have tried, I have attempted to eradicate the suffering using EFT. But I have not gone deep enough in it. To understand why it is rooted so deeply in me. So I am going to take my time now, even if there are long periods of silence, to understand why it is so important for me to remain in a place where I believe I need to suffer in order to suffer less. Let's expose the suffering for what it is. You have heard many times, I am sure, that the evil we, we know is better than the evil we don't know. And we can be comfortable in what we have experienced again and again. Because we know it so well and we know how to deal with it or we think we do. As I am speaking, I am also scratching my finger very strongly as it has been itching all night. 
regardless of the breathing exercises. And it's okay. It's part of the suffering. The birds are waking up. The cockroach crowed. It is near to 5.30 now. And it's okay. I probably will get up after this. And I am not a victim of my sleep. I accept that I needed to go through certain things. <sighs> so what does it mean to me? What does it mean for me to suffer? I have watched the role models in my life in the past. Suffering themselves. Suffering because their job was one that does not give any rest much except in winter and even then their milk needing to be got out of the cows every day the life of a farmer I lived it as a painful life Painful, harsh, so difficult, hard work, sometimes unforgiving, but maybe with this life they lived some sort of peace. Maybe. I do not know that. I watched my grandmother worrying unnecessarily when people did not come back to the house in time. And she used to fret around the kitchen saying, This is not right, they must have had an accident. And everybody mocked her for being so fretful. As I grew up, I took that pattern on. That behavior of fretting in case something had happened. I also carried on believing that the people who were close to me were going to die. And I was scared as a child of my parents dying. Apparently, most children are. So it doesn't show as anything that's exceptionally harmful if we all do it, does it? Suffering was also taught to me through the religion of the Christianity. Catholicism, as we all know. The Joshua Lord is crucified every year for my sins. My sins, who judges? The actions that I might do as a, a sin. How do they know it is a sin? How dare they say that? It's okay, that's up to them. But I've taken that on board and put it in my suitcase of suffering. I need to suffer to be a good person. I need to realize how impure I am. How... Uh, whatever else... So far, the, the suitcase of suffering contains three large items. And then 
because there is a worry about the future, the worry about what is happening to the society now. This infuriating lack of reaction from others when I post something on my business Instagram about a box of chocolate flavoured with every kind of edible insect and explain to the public audience the 220 accounts reached that certain organizations want to groom the human race into what they want us to be. And those people want us to be divided. They want us to fight among ourselves by introducing things like allowing transgenderism on children. By making the human race eat insects instead of meat. By pushing pedophilia as something that should be accepted and respected as a choice of an adult over a child. I post this and as usual my posts fetch a few likes and it makes me so frustrated. Why are they burying their heads in the sand? Do they really want to show their ass? something that they cannot see behind them and this makes me annoyed and angry why can't they see what is happening the division the climate bullshit The earth will do what it wants. And when it wants to get rid of us, it will get rid of us. Whether Klaus Schwab wants it or not. And he will go the same as we will go. Because that is just my, my worry about the future is where the society is letting itself be driven to as I've heard all before. Look over there! Over here! And now here in front of you, what is there? Oh, war. Oh, uh, lack of water. Oh, the sunshine. Let's block it. What are they doing to us? And what are we letting ourselves become? What am I letting myself become? I am letting myself carry on. in the suffering. It is useful to know what I believe is more true than not, but it will not take me to the place where I will be most happy by thinking about it so much. Let's go back to the suffering. Bashar, this incredible channeled being who is so wise, in my opinion, um, he says we all do things because we gain something out of it and we believe that doing the opposite would make us gain less or would be frightening. So if I look at the suffering pattern, which is not a pattern because I am aware of it, apparently patterns are things we don't know are there. So it has become a choice. 
the suffering is partly done. So I believe in inside myself that I belong with my family group if I carry on suffering. I show them that I have taken their ideas on board. I show them that I carry on the tradition which seems to have been set and they would think I am mad if they heard this because they would say to me you are ridiculous wanting to suffer <laughs> but I do not care about their opinion what I gain in suffering is that feeling that I belong to a group and that I am responsible I am aware of my flaws I am aware of my tendencies and hopefully I can choose them because I need to learn something. What else do I gain in suffering? Let's have a think. there is a thing about heaven and hell and even subconsciously I do not believe in that it could be that subconsciously I gain something by suffering I am showing the all that is that I am a good person that I am a martyr What do I gain by being a martyr? Uh, okay, there must be some great gain in that. That I am self-righteous. Yes, there is some of that. That I am better than others who don't think they are martyrs. That I, I gain the thing of being misunderstood and not really be a being able to belong even though it contradicts what I've just said with the family by suffering of martyrdom of being misunderstood of thinking I am misunderstood because I don't understand myself I gain yeah, some sort of self-righteousness. Which will never be understood. Because that's the point of the matter, is that it will never be understood. Can I then focus a bit more? Oh, now my thumb is itching like hell. <sighs> like hell. That things that should not be exist inside of me. What else do I gain from suffering? Why is the reverse so scary? Yes, there is a thing if I stop to suffer and I am happy. Because life is a balance and I will suffer again. It will be worse and much more painful whereas if I keep myself in a state of chronic suffering when suffering comes after being joyous the suffering won't be as harsh because I am used to it there's definitely this as a strong point mm. but I would like to say to anybody giving advice, you cannot tell me what you want me to be. You can wish I was a certain way. But remember, it is up to me. And this is the dark night of my soul, this path, this choosing to suffer.
and I thank you for respecting it. I do not like being told what I am to do. It is for me to find out, nobody else. The same as for you. It's a difficult line with giving advice. Would I like to hear the advice that is being given? by me to someone else. There's so many cliche advices, advice that we repeat to each other which are totally inefficient. And uh, I should become aware of those and stop saying them to others. If I do not like to receive them myself, It is enough for a dark night, and this is it about the choice to suffer. Now, I can only wish that expression comes back to me with integrity and I thank life for what it has given me today peace a roof a bed warmth food and water and even a car that is not electric Thank you, life, for this gentleness you are giving me.